Hello folks, today I've got a little mini mod for you, specifically to do with one of these, which is a bridging plug. So if you're used to doing water cool systems, you'll know that you have to use one of these plugs or a simple paper clip or something in the 24 pin in order to trick the power supply to deliver power to the pump so you can fill your system. Now, that's all well and good most of the time, but there are occasions where actually it's not ideal. So if you're working with a very large case, for instance, and your power supply might be absolutely nowhere near where you happen to have to be to be able to view your reservoirs, that can prove a little bit tricky because you obviously don't want your pump to run dry. So I had this happen with the uh, Aorus build that I did uh, a while back because the power supply is located underneath, uh, well at least the, the power switch for the power supply is located underneath the build itself, which meant that I had to sort of lift it up at like 30 degrees, stick my arm underneath, but then of course I had the reservoirs underneath a canopy at the top, so I literally couldn't see them at all. Uh, and I had to just gauge using sort of an estimate based on the sound of things, and that's not good at all. So I thought it would make a lot of sense finally to make a little device that uses one of these, which is a latching vandal switch. Basically a good use for one of these is to connect it up to a 24 pin extender, and then you can use it like a power switch for priming your loops. So all it does is it just connects the uh, ground cable that you would normally be bridging on one of these and puts on a switch. Just puts it a little bit further away, which means you can hold this in your hand uh, when you're maybe behind the system or something else, just so that you can actually see your loops and you don't have to worry about kind of thumbing in from weird angles. So to do this, we're going to be just needing our latching switch. We've got some wire. Uh, I'm using 16 gauge because that's what I tend to use in my mods. I've got some MDPCX carbon sleeving just to make it look a little bit fancy, completely unnecessary. We're just doing it because we can. I've got your wire stripper, crimper. I've got my soldering iron, which I'm going to be using to attach this. But if you happen to have some crimped ends from maybe a power, uh, a power switch, you can use that instead. It works just fine. Some heat shrink and these, which are the Molex mail connectors, which we're going to be using to insert into one of these plugs. Let's get to it. And what do you know, we have a solution to a problem you probably didn't know existed. Now, 
Obviously, I've made this using all the tools that I use on a regular basis for making cables, and if you don't have all of these, there are a few methods that you can use that don't require everything. So, firstly, instead of making the wire completely from scratch and having to then crimp all of the connectors and things, uh, you can instead just use some of the wires that already come with either a set of extensions, so if you buy some really cheap extensions online, or you have a spare set somewhere already, you can always just use one of those wires. Bear in mind you can't use ones from an old power supply because those are actually female connectors and you do need the male connectors that go into the end of one of these. But sabotaging an old set of extensions is a perfectly good way of doing this. Um, you just need to bear in mind that of course you're going to have lots of other cables that gets in the way and it might become a little bit fiddly. Now one of the things I thought that I might try to do later on, which hopefully will turn up in future videos, is uh, it'd be quite fun to try 3D printing like a, a housing for this so I can have like a, a button so I go choom like that. But uh, in the meantime, this will do fine. It's, a, it's perfectly safe. I've put uh, heat shrink over all of the connectors that are gonna have any kind of uh, live currents going through them. And it really is just grounding it. So it's going to be fine. It's just really important that you use a latching switch for this because if you use a momentary one, it's just going to close the circuit for a short second as you uh, press it. And then it's just going to go back to normal and switch the whole PC off again. What you want to do is just make sure that this thing is providing a closed circuit for as long as you want it. And then you can just unlatch it again when you're done. And that's all there is to it. I'll be using this certainly in the future and I've got some interesting mods coming up that will definitely benefit from having a little bit more flexibility. Now speaking of builds, as I say every single time we've got some incredible ones on the way just around the corner so make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out. You can also find us over on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, builds.gg and of course our Discord server so make sure you pop in and say hi over there. The link is in the description down below. I'll catch you next time, folks.